Hi dear students Santosh here and today I am going to deliver my lecture number 2 on bamboo reinforced concrete that is nothing but steel the lava bamboo <laughs> I am going to deliver this lecture due to public inquiry about this bamboo reinforced concrete regarding its advantages its disadvantages as well as uh, the people want to know how many structures or how many stories we can build with that bamboo reinforced concrete and whether this bamboo is suitable as a other construction material or not that's why i am going to deliver this uh, lecture number second and i am requesting you to subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed my channel and watch my lectures till the end and also watch my lecture first to get ideas clear regarding bamboo reinforced concrete so let us start this lecture first of all what are the advantages of bamboo we discussed in lecture number 1 also but i am going to brief you in short the natural fibers of the bamboo are extremely so strong and that is useful to use as a reinforcing material it has a higher tensile strength also as discussed earlier it is extremely flexible owing to its hollow nature due to its flexibility it can be used as in seismic or earthquake resisting structures it is lightweight as compared to steel that is also an advantage cost efficient and eco friendly or environmentally friendly and it has great potential for shock absorption and that is very important in case of earthquakes so use of bamboo is much more advantageous than the steel and it become a need for future then let us talk about some limitations of that bamboo it <coughs> it is contrast with the steel and it does not have longer life steel has a longer life as compared to bamboo as the bamboo is less durable means resistance to weather is less as compared to steel it cannot be used for permanent structures but nowadays there are studies going on in brazil and different countries and they may be use bamboo with sufficient coating material for long life structures problem due to shrinking in bamboo the moisture content is higher and it is one of the essential aspect in evaluating the life of bamboo and the moisture content is varies according to height of bamboo and location and its seasoning time so that is also important use treated bamboo if you want your structure to be last more than 2 to 3 years but i am going to recommend you if you want to long your structure up to 15 years or so the bamboo is beneficial and study is going on and this study might be helpful for us to construct the eco friendly and economical structures it is more vulnerable to the environmental degradation and attack by insects that is quite common it can be cannot be used in cold weather low elasticity modulus and <coughs> due to that uh, uh, low elasticity modulus and it is weak in concrete mix adherence so adherence with the concrete is weak as compared to steel so we can use the different material for adherence of the bamboo and concrete it can crack and deflect more than steel reinforcement due to that low elasticity modulus or modulus of elasticity so these are the uh, drawbacks or limitations of the bamboo but we can use this bamboo with its advantages to overcome certain drawbacks of the steel okay then life of bamboo so many persons ask uh, the what is the life of that bamboo structures as discussed in earlier lecture also the life of bamboo if it is used well seasoned and good quality and at least 3 years old we can get the higher life of bamboo structures up to 10 to 15 years or more than that untreated bamboo has usually been found to have an average life of 1 to 3 years and if it is directly exposed with the soil or atmosphere the life ex expectancy of the bamboo increases 4 to 7 years when it is used under cover so it <coughs> become twice than that of normal condition 
and under very favorable circumstances the service life of the bamboo can be has as 10 to 15 years when it is used as a rafters or internal framing but recent study in brazil and other countries showed that it can be used for high rise building also up to a height of 200 meter and that bamboo should be used with different coating material for the adherence and to improve the other properties of the bamboo reinforced concrete so that is very very important for you people then selection and preparation of bamboo that is very important select the bamboo with longest and large diameter clumps showing a pronounced brown color that is very important pronounced brown color is very important use the whole clumps of green unseasoned bamboo is prohibited don't use that green color bamboo bamboo should be cut dried and well seasoned for three to four weeks before using it avoid the bamboo cutting in spring or in early summer it reduces weakness of clumps due to increased moisture content there is a weakness in clumps using bamboo as a stirrups it can be bent by applying heat pressure either at wet or dry condition when it is used as a stirrups or rings and to reduce the swelling of the bamboo when in contact with the concrete use the waterproof coating by asphalt emulsions or native latex coal tar or dilute varnish may be used for coating to that bamboo so <coughs> one can learn this technique when they are going to use the bamboo in post structures then we are going to discuss the <coughs> various uses of bamboos in various structural elements when bamboo is used in beams as a reinforcement then there is one literature review by ghawami on the bamboo as a reinforcement in structural steel elements such as a beams and he has done the compressive strength test on that bamboo and the test result shows that ultimate applied load increased by 400 percent as compared with the concrete beam without reinforcement means if the concrete beam without reinforcement is used if that load is x then that load is increased by 400 percent when the bamboo reinforcement is used so bamboo reinforcement is beneficial than plain cement concrete then second study is concrete slab with bamboo permanent shutter forms bamboo find an effective application in concrete slabs also and reinforce with half bamboo sections which work as a permanent shutter forms and to increase the shear strength half bamboo several alternatives were considered one of the simplest was to consider the entire bamboo diaphragm and to improve further a strip of steel or a bamboo rod close to that bamboo diaphragm passing through the bamboo <coughs> diameter was fixed <coughs> please look at this figure this figure shows the half of the bamboo sections here it shows the concrete on the top of that bamboo sections and it shows that strip of bamboo over that half circular portion of the bamboo section and we can use such a type of slab for bamboo reinforced structure so you can study these figures also by taking pdf of <coughs> this lecture and you got some idea about how the reinforcement bamboo reinforcement is going to be placed in slabs and this is also one figure which shows that that half round these are the half round bamboos diaphragm or this is full bamboo diaphragm and these are the top bamboo strips are used as a reinforcing material okay then we are going to discuss the bamboo reinforced or bamboo reinforcement in the column please look at this figure we can use the bamboo as a substitute to steel and in the foundation also we can use the bamboo structure for column footings the structural component being developed analyzed and tested recently in bamboo reinforced concrete circular column with permanent shutter form the main conclusion was 3% of the bamboo reinforcement treated with sikhadur 
थर्टी टू जेल दिस इज पर्टिकुलर वॉटर प्रूफिंग कंपाउंड और जेल सिकादूर थर्टी टू जेल वुड बी एज गुड एज द कन्वेन्शनल स्टील इन्फोर्समेंट फॉर नॉर्मल कॉन्क्रीट रिकमेंडेड बाय ब्राजीलियन नॉम सो वेन वी कैन यूज द बांबू इन्फोर्समेंट विथ सर्टन वॉटर प्रूफिंग मटेरियल एंड द स्ट्रेंथ इज एज गुड एज स्टील इन्फोर्समेंट फॉर कॉलम सेक्शन एंड दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फाइंडिंग बाय दैट ब्राजीलियन टीम then in earlier lecture also we compared the strength properties again we are going to compare that strength properties first important property of a concrete is a compressive strength and in ampere or newton per mm square for bamboo it is 60 to 90 or 62 to 93 mega pascal or newton per mm square for steel it is 140 newton per mm square the tensile strength of a 410 we consider the tor steel that tensile strength is around 415 or 410 newton per mm square and for that bamboo it is 233 newton per mm square like a tor steel elastic modulus or young's modulus in mpa that is 20000 for the bamboo in certain literature i found it is 2000 also so i have to look after that and 21000 for steel that is 21000 or newton per mm square mpa then bending strength or a fluctural strength is 76 to 276 for bamboo so bamboo has more fluctural strength or bending strength as compared to steel and steel has that 140 newton per mm square then shearing strength is for bamboo is less that is 20 newton per mm square and for steel it is 92 newton per mm square so the bamboo is weak in shear so we can study this comparison of comparison of various strength properties of bamboo reinforced concrete or bamboo with steel and other reinforcing materials then uh, some study is conducted in brazil and other countries and cost comparison of bamboo with the steel if the cost of slab is x when it is reinforced with the bamboo then cost of the slab which is reinforced with the steel is 2.22 x means it is <coughs> twice or a thrice than the cost of that bamboo reinforcement and for beam if we consider the cost of beam as x then cost of the steel reinforcement is 7.82 x that is 7 or 8 times greater than that of bamboo and for column and footing bamboo reinforced cost is if x then steel reinforced cost is 9.64x if we can take the average of these around 6 to 7 times cost of <coughs> bamboo steel reinforcement is more than that of bamboo reinforced structural elements so we can use the bamboo very economically as compared to steel then <coughs> one my subscriber asked me whether this bamboo is used for high rise buildings or multi storied buildings and i found answer on the internet and other literature the idea behind the sky capper or high rise building is to create the focal point in the urban area with strong focus on sustainability and social interaction and you know that bamboo is highly suitable construction material in this respect in addition to being highly renewable you know that bamboo is highly renewable bamboo is able <coughs> to withstand the high torque that is very important this is the <coughs> position of the building when there is a earthquake or seismic forces acting on that building and that is nothing but the torque and to sustain that torque we need the bamboo or bamboo like reinforced reinforced material it is high it has a high torque even than steel which also makes it earthquake proof but for such a high rise building in this case 200 meters it is not possible to use bamboo only means <coughs> 200 meter is for their study purpose but if we can use the bamboo for multi storied buildings we cannot use simply bamboo as a reinforcing material therefore the joints of structure <coughs> are made up of steel to which bamboo is tied so we can make the joints <coughs> with the structural steel the crossing of bamboos and two main structural cylinders ensure the stability of sky sky 
<coughs> scaper or high rise building the german chinese house which was presented at shanghai expo 20110 was the inspiration <coughs> for this construction method please look at this structure this structure is <coughs> german chinese house and which is presented in shanghai please look at this structure very elegant and also it is multi storied but the joints are made up of steel and the reinforcement is made up of bamboo so we can use the bamboo for beautiful and aesthetically excellent structures also so <coughs> i am going to end my lecture this lecture number 2 and i am going to continue then my water supply engineering lectures because civil engineering students want to listen that lectures also for more details and notes you please you may please co contact my administrator <coughs> the phone number is 9822604968 you can email me also and don't forget to subscribe my channel